Chancellor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Busy day for me. And with permission, I'd like to answer this together with question number 16. Leaving the UK has enabled the UK to realise an array of economic opportunities, not just the Solvency II reforms, but 71 trade deals with non-EU countries worth £240 billion to the UK economy in 2021. I thank the Minister for, for that answer, but analysis by Bloomberg estimates that Brexit is costing the UK £100 billion a year in lost output. And the Office of Budget Responsibility forecasts the UK economy will be 4% smaller in the medium term, again due to the impacts of Brexit. And the Centre for Economic Performance have warned that Brexit has had added almost £6 million onto UK food bills in the last two years to the end of 2021. How much more damage will need to be done before this government takes off the red, white and blue goggles and sees the reality that Brexit is an economic drag of disastrous proportions for the countries of the UK. My dear fellow, you just need to believe more. That's believe in the power of belief. You are a traitor to your country and you should be hung, drawn and quartered for bringing up such ridiculous facts and evidence. It's 14, not 16. Don't do correct. Thank you for correcting me, Mr Speaker. I, I do... <laughs> You're only Chancellor, you know, but don't worry about it. Very important too, if I may say. Um, I think there's a certain irony in the SNP opposing Brexit as, at the same time as advocating separation for Scotland, which would have a far bigger impact. But as he has talked about our economic performance, since we left the single market, our growth has actually been higher than France or Germany. And uh, there are other things that have happened since then as well, but I don't think it's the doom and gloom that he suggests. Barry Sherman. Mr Speaker, um, last week I was a bit unkind to one of the Treasury team, and can I apologise for that? Um, I shall be very nice this, this morning. But... No, sorry, Barry. No, give them hell. Don't take no prisoners. Could, could, I ask this, could, could I ask the Chancellor, does he agree with former Home Secretary Amber Rudd, who yesterday said that in order to be a Conservative day, you have to have a few drinks and then say Brexit actually works? Or if you've had a few, really had a few drinks, uh, you could admit it doesn't work. Could we, on all benches, admit we are poorer in this country because of Brexit and do something about it? Chancellor. Well, all I would say, Mr Speaker, is that if Labour really are against Brexit, they should have the courage of their convictions and say they want to rejoin the EU. And that is the problem. Because they don't believe they can make a, a success of it, they will never be able to run the British economy under it. Anthony Brown. <laughs> you see, the thing is, gentlemen, you know full well if they said we will be rejoining the single market or whatever, if we win power. You know exactly what you guys will be just screaming and carping from the sidelines saying, You see, they want you they want to drag us back into the the dictatorial EU and all that stuff. <laughs> Quite clever really, but let's let's be honest, you've got no room to talk, have you, Mr Hunt? See, I didn't didn't make a pig's ear of that. You were the, who, who voted to remain during the European Union campaign? Oh, yeah, that's right, you. So I'd like to ask you, if you think that Brexit's the success that it is, then were you either lying during the referendum campaign or were you just thick? <laughs> 